Hello, welcome to Ease Kitchen. Today I'm going to be going over some knife skills uh, and showing you proper techniques in using a knife. Just so you know, just in case your cutting board isn't quite staying still on your cabinet, just take a towel, lay it down underneath. Nice little trick, many chefs use this. Put your cutting board right on top of there, stays in place real nice and safe. So, right now we're going to do bread, okay? Now, normally you use a bread knife or something like that, but I'm going to show you that if you have a very sharp, well-maintained knife, you can go ahead and cut bread without any problem. Today we're going to be going ahead and using the Shun Chef 8-inch knife. Um, this is a right-hander, and of course here at East Kitchen we have the left-handed special. The difference is, I'll show you a little picture of that later, on the back side of them, you can actually see where it is in the shape of a D so that you can wrap your hand around it, and of course the left-hander is reversed. Go ahead and put that back. It's my wife's. Uh, go ahead. What you want to do is you're going to put the tip of your knife all the way down on the board and you're going to use a rocking slicing motion all at one time. You can see it cuts it nice and smooth. You're going to wrap your hand around, putting your fingers, pinching the blade. It's a proper technique. So you just go through. If you go forward as you're cutting, it'll just take the bread and cut it into nice even slices without smashing it. And that is the key, of course, as you can see. Not smashing the bread at all. Go ahead and cut these into square size. Keeping the blade in constant contact with the board. You don't want to leave the board because that makes it safe. You're going to wrap those knuckles around as I just wasn't, so that wasn't very safe. And you get those grapples, knuckles wrapped up underneath so you don't cut them off. It's very unsafe that way. And as you can see, cut these into a nice little dice. Cook those into croutons later. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And once again, Wipe the board off. I'm going to try another one. It's really soft. This is a kiwi fruit. As you know, these are a little bit hard to cut. Um, they smash down if you're not careful with them. Same thing as with a tomato. But once again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to come down in a slicing motion. Just like a choo-choo train, keeping that blade in contact with the board at all times. Okay? Just like a train. If you ever want to practice, like I said, take your knife. Hold it out in front of you. Grab it, pinching the blade, wrap that hand around there, and just go back and forth, just like a train. Hold it in place, and you'll be making perfect cuts in no time. Thank you for joining us at East Kitchen. We'll see you later. Hello, welcome to East Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be going over some knife skills. Uh, and showing you proper techniques in using a knife. Just so that you know, just in case your cutting board isn't quite staying still on your cabinet, just take a towel, lay it down underneath. Nice little trick, many chefs use this. Put your cutting board